Hi, this is Jim Starkweather with the Kitmaker Network, and welcome to another episode of Cracking the Box. We have a, a new uh, sample here from Mirror Models Limited. We'd like to thank them, as well as Stevens uh, International, for sending it to us. Um, this is a 135th scale uh, kit. It's a number 35200. Um, a special edition SC is what's marked here on the box. And it does uh, contain two, a, a um, Russian artillery tractor T20. Uh, Kamos, com, oh boy, my Russian's not too good either. Kamosomolets, early, uh, early model. Uh, this is a precision plastic kit. Uh, it obviously indicates, uh, contains two options, a model 1937 and a model 1938 early. Special edition contains also a 1935 Russian fuel trailer, which they show here in the, in the illustration. So let's uh, crack it open and take a look, shall we? I notice on the side of the box they do include some, some nice little uh, uh, information about the, uh, the tank at. Um, and then uh, they show some completed photos here on the side. Uh, let's see if I can bring that in closer so you can see some of them. Because that's probably the only place you're going to see them. Oh, come on, camera. Focus. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, some com completed photos there which look pretty good. There's the, the Russian fuel tractor, or fuel trailer. Okay, so I'm pulling off the instructions here, but you can see on the inside, um, in plastic wrap, we've got some nice plastic parts. Uh, quality looks not decent, you know, for the scale and the size. Obviously, it's 135th, but we're dealing with a very small vehicle. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out of the bag here so I can get a closer look. And, um, they have some nice uh, detail here on the these front pieces. I don't know if you, you know, briefly focused in there. I know, but uh, anyways, there you go. Some uh, some nice details, nice rivet detail. Um, I don't see a lot of production issues. There's a little bit of a kind of a nub here on this end. Uh, I don't see any too much uh, flash or any uh, real you know production issues uh, to worry about. Uh, here's another picture with uh, another another sprue with some of the side pieces. Again, some kind of nubs on this this end here. I guess they were connected. This is broken in half, so probably this piece was connected. Oh yeah, here we go. So this was one large piece essentially, and initially, and they've they've in order to save time on or save space on shipping and so forth. And I imagine this piece went on the other end over here. Yeah. So this was one giant sprue essentially that they. Uh, broke down to, to ship. And actually, I think that's a good idea because I, I've seen some manufacturers, I swear, they put uh, giant boxes for essentially with very little plastic, so it just doesn't seem to make sense. Uh, this sprue with uh, some of the road wheels, I think, for the trailer and some hinges or leaf springs, I should say. Uh, there's a decal set included. Um, and there's the actual trailer pieces. Again, these all look, you know, fairly clean. I uh, wouldn't say, you know, super detailed, but but good. Um, and here's some one that's kind of wrapped inside a piece here. Kind of like half a bag, half a bag that has a Ziploc on the end. Um, the road wheels look nice on this one. Uh, again, more leaf springs. And uh, here's part of the. Not sure what that's part of actually. There's two of those, and then finally we have the uh, it has independent track links. Very very small. Um, again, I'll probably have to capture these in photos, but if you can see, yeah, there we go. Pretty darn small. Like there's the tip of my finger. So you can see that's going to be a challenge to you know, have to clip all those, and then I'm not sure if they glue together or what the scenario is here. Here's the instruction sheets. Let's uh, take a look at those down here on Basically, they're just pages, 8.5 by 11 pages with one. Uh, here's the, uh, they're showing 10 links. It's easier to assemble first and then, for, assemble top first and then bottom. Keep checking length. Oh, wait, that one does open. I think. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's just one piece. Could have sworn it was going to open on me. Nope. Okay. Um, really? Because it really seems like it should open. <laughs> okay. Well, if you see that piece, don't get frustrated with it. It doesn't open. Okay. So uh, here's... Uh, I'm trying to find the right page order here. 9, 10, 11, 8. Ah, here we go. 
Okay, so uh, the instructions are just, again, 8.5 by 11 pieces of paper. You can see here's page number one, talks or showing the engine construction. And uh, then we have the hull assembly. And um, finally moving on to the hull top and rear. And uh, more detail pieces, machine gun placement. And it gets into the suspension bits, which is odd. Normally you kind of do that early on. And then the suspension goes on to the actual um, vehicle. And they show uh, some cl completed photos. They actually show a, re a reference shot here of a Finnish uh, model in, in 19, mod 1938 early in Finnish service. Uh, this one says it's in Russian services. It's, I think, an actual model photo. And... Uh, so again, there and then the back last page or the last section here is the uh, fuel trailer assembly. Okay, and as you, you've seen some additional photos of all those pieces, I hope you enjoyed this little preview. And uh, thanks, our thanks to again to Mirror Models and uh, Stevens for sending this kit to us for review. Uh, we will be looking for someone to do a more a detailed review of this kit, maybe a build. So if you're interested in that and uh, interested in have some maybe some knowledge and background for these types of Russian uh, vehicles, then please let us know. Um, and uh, thanks for watching, and if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below.